we're live. Do -do 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 -do. Do -do -do -do. I got bad hair. Hey. Huh? That guy dumped it all in one spot too. He didn't even try to spread it around the circle. He just dumped it all over again. <laughs> kids out there with just that shovel. Out. Hello, whoever's in here. We're just gonna do a short grocery haul when we get a few more people in. So we just figured we'd do it live this time instead of instead of recording because, you know, we got some storms coming again. So hello, whoever's sitting there not saying anything. Welcome to the live stream. Oh, well, hello, beauty has been my curly girl. What you doing, my curly girl? Are you having a good day, curly girl? Yes, you did. You caught us. Hello there, Will. We love you, Brother Will. And yes, Pooty, as you can tell in the background, he loves you too. He's running his chompers. He's always running his mouth. He takes it after his mama. <laughs> he gets it faithfully. Aw, curly girl, you just got into bed. Yeah, it's uh, it would be what, uh, like 1130-ish over there in the UK? I'm glad you did come and see us. This is just a last minute random thing. I thought, you know what? Let's just do a grocery haul live because we've never done that. Just for something fun to do, kind of break the monotony because it's getting ready to storm like crazy out here. And with the luck that we've been having, we'll probably end up losing some more trees. Okay, it's 1030 over there. Chef Will Eugen Bliss said hello. Oh, he's outside. I have to tell him when he comes back in. Good to see you, dude. You too, curly girly. Are you doing okay, honey? I think about you all the time. I worry about my curly girly. Chef's outside getting some more groceries. He told me, he said, go ahead and fire up the laptop and I'll be right there. So he's carrying some stuff in. We had a thing on the way here, though. There was this car that was in front of us, this little itty bitty like silver SUV thing. And it had a guy in it. Oh, thank you, honey. Thank you, Michelle. Anyway, this guy in this little car. Hey, Jules. Whoop, whoop. Hey, Jules and M's in the house. Angel and M. We miss M. We hope to see M soon. I hope she gets back in the YouTube mood pretty soon. We just thought we'd come on and do like a quick grocery haul on live yes everybody say hello to everybody brother will's in the house everybody said hello chef you were outside hello chef you were outside did you hear him he's such a smarty pants he says hello chef you were outside there he is wave everybody <laughs> he's carrying everything in and he's got to run to the potty Anyway, so this guy was in this little silver SUV and he whipped off the side of the highway like super duper quick. And he leaned over the back like he was like he was whooping the crap out of somebody. So we went down the road to the next road and we turned around and came back because we couldn't see anybody. Hey, Ellen. We couldn't see anybody but knew that he was he was fixing to whoop on somebody because we saw him drawing back like that. So we went down, turned around, and came back. When, you know, because I told Chef, don't stop because everybody's got guns. I wanted him to be aware that somebody was seeing what he was doing. Anyway, so we went back by really slow, and I had the camera on because I wanted to get his license plate number and stuff. So we went down just a little further and went to the gas station, which wasn't far, and turned around and came back. And as we were coming back, he was pulling out. Then there was a woman sitting in the front seat. So she must have either been laid back in the seat or in the back, and he was whipping the tar out of her. So anyway, I called the police and um, waiting to see if they call me back because they were headed there with lights and sirens. So he pulled into the gas station. If she has any sense about her, she'd get the hell out of there. Hey, Ashley and Amy. Oh, man, I hope you guys are doing well. Hey, Mo. If you guys haven't seen Ashley and Amy's video at Mid Martin's Midlife Misadventures, you got to go check them out because those ladies have had some bad luck here lately. And I am hoping that they are recovering. If you don't have guns there in the UK, then you're very lucky because here there has been so much crime lately. Ugh. I already threw the box away, but they got Fruit Loops. 
Fruit I, Loop popsicles. Popsicles. You get eight of them. We already ate the grape ones. There's yeah. orange and light green and red. So I'm saying they're cherry, orange, probably lemon, lime, and grape. Man, they taste just like eating Fruit Loops. Yeah, he got an eight pack from the Dollar Tree for a dollar, and man, they taste like a Fruit Loop. <sighs> Anyway, so yeah, we're just going to do a little quick haul with you guys. Give it a couple more minutes for some more people to come in. Hey, Mary. Hi. How are you doing, honey? I feel like I'm screaming. Ugh. I got a big mouth anyway, so. Yeah, Jules, have you guys had my ticket? There's my bell. Hey, Val, I didn't send you a message because this is like a last minute thing. We're just going to do a haul on here because it's fixing to rain really, really bad. I don't know if we're going to have power after a while. Yeah, I do. I, that's what I get for being raised with brothers. It's like I talk really loud. I have a potty mouth. Ooh. Yeah, they are good. But we only had the grape ones, Jules. Do they all taste the same or do they taste different? There is Silver Prep and Grandma. We're fine, Mary. We're doing okay. We had some storm damage from the last storm. Um, we got a hole in our garage roof and a busted windshield, and it's getting ready to rain again. Some bad storms coming through, so we're just keeping an eye. So I thought we'd just do a little haul for now. I've got some cooking I'm going to be doing later, recording some videos. Um, between tonight and tomorrow, I've got like three or four videos I want to get recorded. Crossing my fingers, hoping that happens. Uh, Jewel, Jewel said they all taste different. That's good to know. We ate the we ate the grape looking one. It didn't taste like grape; it just tastes like a Fruit Loop, but it was good. But Chef said it had like a <laughs> Val. I haven't got any messages from you today, but I'm glad that you got your package today. Have you already opened it? And if you did, I hope you like what you got. Is it storming there, Ellen? Yeah. We're getting ready to be under a lot of red. Supposed to rain up to eight inches here over the next seven days. Yeah, they said it's going to rain up to eight inches over the next few days. Thank you, Mary. But you know what? We're still alive and we're still breathing and it could be worse. That's how we see it. So we're just thankful that it wasn't any worse than what it was. So, hey, Shelly. Hi, Shelly. Good to see you, Shelly. And I'm sorry if I miss anybody's messages. I'm trying to watch everybody. Everybody say hi to Dumpster Diving Mo, Martin's Midlife Mis Misadventures, Jules and M. These are all great channels. If you guys have a chance to, click out, pop out of here, click on their channels, go check them out and subscribe and show them some love. And there's Annie M. Hi, Annie M. Long time no see to you, honey. Annie M says, hello, chef. Hello. He's over here on the side. He was just carrying in some groceries for me and stuff, so... Anyway, I'm just going to go ahead and start because we got some stuff that we need to get put away. But first, hey, Charlie, if you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. And you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, then you know it. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. We love Charlie. Everybody say hi to Val and Charlie. Hey, Alicia, how are you doing? Everybody say hi to Alicia in Germany. She has a great channel too, guys. You can check her out. Beauty has been. Beauty has been. Those ladies are lovely. It's mother, daughter. You need to go check them out. Michelle and Charlotte. 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 Listen to me. Michelle and Charlotte. Annie M channel. A great group of people in here right now. And I would recommend checking out every single one of their channels. So I'm going to start this haul real quick, um, and I'll try to see the messages as I'm going along. But Chef went into Dollar Tree, and he got these, the Tapatio Extra Spicy Ramen Noodle Cups. We can only find them at the Dollar Tree, and he's not a big fan of ramen noodle cups, but he loves these. And let me tell you guys, these are super good. So if you get into your Dollar Tree, get these. And they say extra spicy, but, you know, Chef can't handle spice a lot, so... They're not so spicy that he can't handle them. They're super duper good. The Tapatio. You can't find the, you can find this brand at Walmart, but you can't find the extra spicy like this. These, these say extra spicy and they're super, super good. These, yeah, they are really, really good. You're right, Ashley. I think I'm talking to Ashley. <laughs> they are super good. 
and phone's all right. It should have plenty of charge. Uh, I'm going to put the light on. Oh, okay. And then we got these. Chef picked these up while he was in the Dollar Tree, the Toastums. Yeah, they don't usually have the strawberry. The frosted strawberry. He likes these and the frosted um, blueberries the most. Re another reason we did the live is because we got a lot of stuff on discount today. Not clearance stuff, not material stuff, but we got a lot of food deals, which is really surprising right now because with the way the prices are going up, it's just ridiculous. And we were looking at some used cars and oh my Lord, have you guys seen the prices of used vehicles? It is like ridiculous nuts. Oh my God. Oh. We like Pop-Tarts too, but we don't eat them enough to spend the money for the regular Pop-Tarts. That's why he just grabbed these. And you'll see from our Walmart haul that we grabbed some other stuff that we really didn't need to have, but so, you know, 4th of July is coming up and I've got some sweets I'm going to be making for a video. I've got, I've got two really, really, really good things that I'm going to be making video recorded videos on this weekend for you guys. And they're both sweet. So it's like, what's the sense of worrying about it right now? Uh, you guys need a Dollar Tree over there. Yes. And Jules, everything has skyrocketed. Yeah. It's... Uh, I saw a vehicle and it was a used vehicle on you and it didn't look bad, but it was like a, I don't know, probably a 1995, an old, an older car. And they wanted $7,000, almost $7,000 for it. It was ridiculous. Yes. You need a dollar tree over in the UK. That is for certain. So, okay. I'm going to grab some frozen stuff. And um, so that way we can get it put in the freezer. So, anyway, what we can. Um, if I don't see your messages while I'm showing you guys this stuff, I'm sorry. I'll try to catch up. Um, I needed this for a recipe. So, I got a thing of whole milk. Um, I got a thing of butter quarters. Normally, we buy all of our butter quarters at Sam's. Hello, birdie, little birdie. Bird's Nest Buys and DIYs. You changed your channel name. You guys go check them out. Your water bill double valve. Hello, trending fashions. Okay, guys, I'm sorry if I'm not going to be able to see these, but chefs got to get this stuff put away. So, anyway, we normally buy these at Sam's, but we got them at Walmart because I needed some butter for some recipes. I already showed you the milk. Chefs been digging these lately. These, uh, uh, yeah, you know what they're called? Ice cream cones. Sunday cones, the ice cream cones. So he got this kind this time. It's vanilla, vanilla fudge, and vanilla caramel. He's been liking that at night. And then, guys, um, for Father's Day, he had this Wagyu beef. And if you guys know, Wagyu beef is supposed to be some of the best beef. It's like $26. Yeah. Down. They had this marked down. Um, it, was, it was over $16. And he got it for $6.93. So he was jumping for joy in the aisles at Walmart. <laughs> he was able to get another Wagyu beef steak for $6.93. And then we were talking about, hey, sis, Appalachian Blue Ridge and Shenandoah Valley Living is here, guys. Check out their channel because I know they've got some awesome stuff coming up, too. And we're going to be doing a collab with them. Um, I think they've probably already done their part, but I have to do my part. Anyway, and then Chef found this. This was reduced a lot. Uh, it said save $10.69. It was a chuck pot roast. Um, the price was $18.75, and he got it for $8.06. If you guys can see this, he's going to take half of it, and we're going to cook it in the Ninja, and we're going to have beef Manhattans for dinner. It was 2.69 pounds, so he got that. There's another. Yeah, yeah, Grandma, that was it was a great deal. Um, they had these. Fourth of July is coming. Eight ground beef burger patties. Two pounds. There's two pounds in here. There's eight patties for three forty-five. So he got two packages of those because that's a good deal too. Throw those on the barbecue, and you're all set to go. So, yeah, you guys talk amongst each other, and <sighs> I'm trying to see. Yes, Chef is a really good shopper. He. I was going down all the junk aisles while he was over in the meat section. I got lucky. I just caught the woman out at the end doing the chicken, and I worked my way back up because there was a guy filling his cart up with the beef at the beef end. Yeah, some guy was, like, hogging it all. He was, like, just shoveling it into his cart. And Chef's like, 
because he because he wanted in on those deals too. I told him to get some more of that wagyu beef steak, but our freezer is full and we didn't have a lot of room. So anyway, we got this. It's the sugar. And this one is not the no sugar added. But anyway, we got the Mott's. It's the six pack of applesauce with pear flavor, pear applesauce. This was a dollar. It was marked down to a dollar in the clearance aisle. We thought we'd try some of these. This is the fruit and chia mangoes in pineapple flavored chia by Del Monte. This was 50 cents for a, four, for a big two pack. But they're big containers, if you can see that. That was only 50 cents. So, yeah, see, Val, meat is ridiculous. Val said the store she went to that three steaks for $35. Okay. Um, we got some lemon blueberry. Um, this is the iced loaf cake. Lemon and blueberry. We got it for $1.71. These are the kind of things that I said, well, we really don't need them, but we got them anyway. We got some chocolate eclairs. They were marked down to $1.78. And we got these Lucky Charm Soft Baked Bars. I've seen them before, but I've never bought any. They had them on clearance for a dollar. So that either means that they had too many, they're getting ready to expire, or nobody was buying them. So these were a dollar. It says they don't expire until January of 2022. Yeah, I think you guys can see that. January of 2022. And then, yes, blueberry cakes are yummy. We've never had the pear apple sauce either. We've had the, I think I've bought the cherry before and that, but we've never had the apple and I've never had the Lucky Charms thing either. I got this just because I liked it. This is for Pride Month. Um, this is heart shaped cereal and it says um, Kellogg's and Glad together with Pride heart shaped cereal. It looks like they're all Fruit Loops. So. But anyway, on the back of it, it says boxes are not for gender, style, interest, love. Boxes are for cereal, not people. Kellogg, together with Pride Cereal, is a part of our longstanding contribution to GLAD's media advocacy work supporting youth against bullying, accelerating acceptance for the LGBT plus community. Leave boxes for cereal and let people be who they were meant to be. Amen. That's what it says on the box, if you can see it. That's what it says on the back. So yeah, I just got one of these because I loved this. So grabbed a box of that. Chef spotted these. Oh, your daughter has strep. Oh my God. I hope she gets well soon. Tag on it. Hi, Skywatcher Sandra. I told everybody to kind of talk amongst yourselves because I can't see everything here while I'm trying to do this because I'm not that coordinated. Even though I can do this. Did you guys see my video about this? One hand this way, one hand backwards. I'm not seeing but two people that can do that. So if you guys can do it, shoot me a video because I want to see. Chef found these for a dollar. It was the Little Debbie's um, Banana Marshmallow Moon Pies. Nothing like an ice RC cola and a moon pie. Oh, and I got something I want to show you guys too. Can you grab me a can of that? The Baja Flash. If you guys haven't seen it, there's new Mountain Dews out, and it's really good. Yes, yeah, those are good, Birdie. Those banana moon pies are super good. You guys need to come over. I'm telling you what, you people, you of our friends in the UK, you need to get you a flight to the U.S. and come and visit us. Me and the chef have room. Okay, another thing. We use a lot of these diced tomatoes. These are not the ones with green chili. These are just the diced tomatoes. 25 cents a can, y'all. And even though we're going to be canning tomatoes eventually, we couldn't pass this up right now. 25 cents a can, and these are the big 14.5 ounce cans. 25 cents. So we got a case of 12 of those. And I want to show you guys. I don't know how many of you like Mountain Dew, but this is the new Mountain Dew Baja Flash. If you guys haven't seen it or tried it, it's at Walmart. They have two different flavors. The other one is like a fruit punch flavor, but this one is a pina colada flavor. This has pineapple and coconut, and Penguin's all about pineapple and coconut. This is really, really good. Hello, Beach Lady. Welcome. Sorry if I don't see a lot of your messages. You guys, I know you do well conversing with each other because we have a great community in here. 
So I, anyway, this is awesome, guys. I highly recommend you try this if you like coconut and pineapple and you like pina coladas. This is awesome. Fill up a mason jar full of ice. Swig it down. Yes, ma'am. Yeah, the pineapple one, I didn't care for that one either. But this one, if you like pina colada flavors, you like pineapple and coconut, yes. Why are you depressed, Birdie? Yeah, so check out your Walmarts because they a lot of times we find a lot of the same stuff on the same clearance. But Birdie, you can hardly, I mean, it's got Mountain Dew in it, but it tastes like uh, pina colada. So if you like pina colada, don't count it out. Anyway, I got a two-pound box of macaroni because I'm going to need this for a recipe here in the future. Not the near future, but in the future. Oh, you have to go back on Wednesday, work on Wednesday. So lockdown is officially over, I take it. Yeah, Angel, try that one because it's super, super good. Super, super good. Um, I got one big bell pepper because this is for a recipe that I'm getting ready to do this weekend. So I needed this one. Yeah, Val, I know. A lot of places, different parts of Canada is doing different things from my understanding. Anyway, Chef wanted, he spotted some hummingbirds outside. We didn't have a hummingbird feeder. So he went ahead and got one. So we got a hummingbird feeder and some of the nectar that they, that they like to drink or whatever. So we got that. And we got... This is the Walmart brand of Velveeta. You guys can see this because of the glare. I like this stuff. It's To me, it tastes just as good, if not better, than Velveeta. And this is only $4.12, and Velveeta is like $7. So, oh, are you <laughs> going to make the mac and cheese? Let me know how you like it. Send me a message because we liked it. It's all gone. Yeah, we finished it last night. <laughs> yeah, we finished it off. With some little spinny. Yeah. You don't have hummingbirds in the UK? See, I'm not familiar with all that. I don't know what's where and what have you. Okay, guys, let me get back to this. I think we got hummingbirds now because of the vegetable plants and the fruit trees outside. There's sweet smell and stuff, so it's attracting them. Yeah, probably because I've never seen, I haven't seen a lot of hummingbirds out here. Anyway, I've never tried these before. These are the English Toffee Peanut M&M's. It said it was a winning flavor. Have any of you guys tried this? Because I haven't tried it yet. She said, no, they don't have hummingbirds in the UK. Huh. I thought hummingbirds were everywhere. See, you learn something new every day. I just learned from Martin's Midlife Misadventures that cactuses actually bloom flowers. Yeah, some of them do. I didn't know they bloomed flowers. I See, didn't. that's why I watch these videos because I learned something. There's Flower Child. Hi, Flower Child. Welcome to the chat. We're just doing a small haul. Not all cactuses, but some cactuses. I'm running my mouth like 100 miles an hour. I'm trying to read the chat as I go along, but you guys are doing great conversing with each other, and I love that. Anyway, I never tried these. I'm looking forward to trying them. And I got something on the other side of me that nobody can see because it's for Luna. Oh, yes. And Chef's got something over there for Luna. Um, Sarah Jane. Sarah Jane from Sarah Jane Journey, new baby. We got her We got her little Luna some stuff. And I should have had it mailed off already yet, but I don't have it mailed off yet. It'll go out tomorrow. But Chef bought another thing for her today. Mm -hmm. So. It's Pootie's favorite thing, so I had to get Yeah, it. actually, he got her two more things today. Well, yeah. So, um, one of Pootie's favorite things, we're sending them to Luna because Luna will probably love them, too. Hello, Katie. Welcome to the chat. Katie, hi. Good to see you, honey. Thanks, Val. We love you so much, Val. Christmas cactus. Does it, Jules? See, I'm still learning this stuff. I do not have a green thumb. Okay, Annie M, you need to look for these then. They are the English Coffee and Peanut. So check them out if you have a chance to. It says winning flavor. Okay, on. I got to get this haul done, y'all. Um, Kenny Rogers, The Gambler. This is the complete six film collection. Five DVDs includes all five Gambler films plus Coward of the County. And you know that we don't have cable or satellite here. So me and the chef, we depend on a lot of movies. So we're always buying some kind of movies. Yeah, I love that movie, Coward of the County. Yeah, this is six films. And he got it for nine, $9.97 or $9.95, something like that at Walmart. This is on clearance. This was just their actual price. 
So we got this. Um, I'm not going to take them out of the bag because you guys know what ears of corn looks like, but we got four ears of corn because you know why? Chef's wanting some more um, Mexican street corn and we still have cojita cheese left. So we're going to be making some more Mexican street corn and Lord knows we got plenty of cilantro, right guys? As soon as the jalapenos get a little bit bigger, we're going to be making some more pico de gallo. We need to be canning some salsa and tomatoes. Okay, chef's going to. Well, this morning I went out and gave the biggest tomato They can't plants. see you because the. I give the biggest tomato plants some more water because if you don't water them twice a day, they're going to die. But one of them beefsteaks has got that big around now and about that tall just overnight. Yeah. So we're going to have like, I'm going to have tomatoes running out my yin yang. <laughs> What am I going to do with the money? Oh, some of them are for my brother so. Yeah, we're going to be giving some away. I, my brother and sister-in-law that has the food truck, I don't know if they're going to be able to use them because, you know, they have the food inspectors and everything has to be USDA certified and all that stuff. So they may not be able to use them, but we're going to, we're going to give them some for their own personal use anyway and the neighbors and what have you. So... You get hungry. <laughs> Birdie said she gets hungry every time she watches us. <sighs> Kenny Rogers is not even alive anymore, Annie. So he doesn't look like that anymore. Oh, bless his heart. Kenny Rogers, yeah. He um he was looking pretty he for a long time he still looked the same, but he really took a turn before he passed away. Uh Kenny Rogers concert in Glen Falls, New York in the 80s. He was grumpy and rude, really? He seems like he's so just mellow and passive. I can't picture him being like rude, but I believe you. If he was, he was. I totally believe you. We're hoping to catch the Indianapolis State Fair. Chef was looking last night. They're going to have the Beach Boys. We're hoping we're going to be able to. But then again, we were going to go to the Roseanne house today. It was not supposed to rain today. But guess what? Chef said we woke up. It was sunny. The closer until we, we were getting ready and getting ready to leave, it started clouding up a little bit. And Chef's like, you better look at the radar. I looked at the radar, and sure enough, there were some big storms off to the west that was heading our way. And because we have our one shelter dog, he has to be crated while we're gone. And he would literally kill himself if he was stuck in a crate during a storm. So we decided not to go for the sake of our fur babies. But we will get there, guys. We will get there. I I'm... I need to tell her a secret real quick, guys. You feel like you're in the Roseanne you house already? <laughs> Sorry. Chef was Chef was gossiping about the neighbor. If you only knew. <laughs> oh, Lord. Anyway, on with the haul, guys. You know what? I feel like I have a friend, and if I don't know if I can pull her picture up, but if I can... Um, she looks like before one with the hall. She looks like Roseanne. Uh, the older she's gotten, she doesn't look as much like Roseanne. But yeah, she looks a lot like Roseanne. Um, well, if I can find it right here, bear with me a second, guys. Let me see if I can go down here and find one. Probably if I would go through our older pictures because we've been friends for so or so. Um, she lived in Texas at the time, but now you can't really tell in this one, but she's got her hair pulled back, but that's my friend. And when she was younger, she used to wear her hair just like Roseanne. And we went to a bowling alley once and there was a celebrity lookalike contest and she won it for looking like Roseanne Barr. So that's a good thing and a bad thing. <laughs> so. Oh, really, Sandra? That is not a good thing. That is not a good thing. I'm trying to make sure. I'll go back and read these guys later, and I promise I will try to respond um, in the comment section later. I will try. I really, really will. You're not bothering anybody, Sandra? Not at all. I try to peek up and look. Jersey girl went and got a ding. Pause the movie. It was Penguins and Michelle. 
It was penguins and Michelle. Okay, I'm not sure what you guys are talking about because I've already been lost. Are we gone? Can you guys still see us? Are we still here? Hello. Okay. All right. I was just confused by um, Jules Nim's message there, something about internet, but my curly girly says it's her internet. Okay. All right. On to what I was doing. Yes. We're going to have corn too. The squirrels planted me a freebie out in the yard from the corn I put out for them last year. I got a corn stalk about two and a half foot tall growing out there. Yeah. You told him the other day. Oh, did I? Yeah. Chef's excited about getting that corn. He wants to, he wants to cook that corn up. Anyway, I got a can of evaporated milk. I needed this for a recipe that I'm doing. And just because I got a couple of cans of ravioli. Yes, I couldn't do that multiple can ravioli challenge, but I still like them anyway. Um, we always get our chickens at Sam's Club, but we weren't near Sam's Club. So Chef, chef got a chicken, rotisserie chicken for the dogs. Um, for my Fair Food Friday, I needed some of these. And no, we're not making breaded mushrooms. You guys will... You guys will see what we're going to make. It's something I've not seen anywhere else. So I had to have some mushrooms and you don't have to put them in yours. It's an option. It's just optional. Hello, Lydia. Everybody say hi to Lydia. She is my, I call her my sister from another mister too. She's over in Australia. She's actually from the Philippines, but she works in Australia. So she has a channel too. If you guys have a chance, check her out. It's always good to see what everybody else is doing on the other side of the world. Um, we got some barbecue chips. We like the um, Walmart brand, the uh, Mesquite Kettle Cooked, but they were totally out because obviously everybody else likes them too. And then Chef wanted some of the sour cream and cheddar because they're good. So we got those. And we got some clamshells from the Dollar Tree. It's a 10 pack, plastic hanging. It's a 10 pack for a dollar. And they got the little dividers. So if me and Chef have a chance to go fishing or something like that, I can fix us up some potato salad, some baked beans and something, and we can take them with us when we go fishing. And everybody needs this. you got to have TP in your life. So we got some TP. Is that it? Except for dog food. Okay, guys, that's it for the haul, except for a whole lot of dog food, because we're always buying a whole lot of dog food. Well, I'm down to just chicken and beef, and I like to mix it up for them because they get bored, just like people. Can you guys not drop your channel links in here already? I don't know how that works, Sandra. I'm still new to this, so I just assumed that you could drop channel links in any in any chat. So you guys can try. You can try to drop your link in here. I don't know. Like I said, I don't know how that works. Yeah, Val, I'm going to try. Now, mind you, I never. Okay, Sandra, hang on. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Hang on, guys. Bear with me a minute. Okay, Sandra, I put you in as a moderator then. If you know how to drop links, you can drop links for some of these. We love to go fishing. We were wanting to get the, the boat out on the Wabash River, but we haven't had a chance to yet. It's just been so chaotic. Um, <clears throat> okay, Birdie, hang on. Let me take care of that. I just learned how to do that. Okay. Anyway, um, yeah, I'm planning on trying to get three recipes recorded over the weekend. I'm not going to be able to get a video out tonight, but tomorrow, well, I don't know. I'm not going to swear to it. I might make something later. Um, two of the three things that I'm going to be making is a little time consuming, but well worth it. Um, the one thing is not as time consuming, but it's, a gr it's great for the 4th of July. I could do mine tonight. Yeah, Chef's got something he can do tonight for you guys. Spare food and 4th of July, yeah. hot weather all combined. It's, it's something. I think I'll let Chef take it tonight. Thanks, Sandra, for dropping links for everybody. Anybody that wants these guys to drop your link, put a one in the chat. Put the number one so that they can look for your guys' channel and drop your links in here. So, Annie M, you too. Give me a one if you want your channel link dropped in the chat. 
I know we don't have tons of people in here, but that's okay. If it gets you, if it gets you one, two, three, four, five more subscribers, that's better than nothing, right? There you go, Sandra. You're going to be busy, you and Birdie. <laughs> There's Jules and M's link. We've got Martin's Midlife Misadventures link coming up in the chat. So, um, yeah, two. Well, the thing that Chef's going to do tonight is totally different. It's something that you guys would have seen at fairs and festivals. It's great when it's um, hot outside. And it's great when it's hot outside. That's all we're going to say. And, uh, and my version's amped up. Yeah, she, you know, Chef, he always has to have an amped up version of everything, right? <laughs> um, the things that I'm going to be doing, um, to me, it's a fair food, but you're not going to find it at a fair festival. But you know what? You can make it at home and your family, your family would have a blast with it. And um, the other thing, too, it's not it, it's not a fair food at all. It's just a summer type dessert. And you guys are really going to like it. Do what? What'd she do? Driving on our front. Oh. Anyway. Okay. Beauty has been. Link's gone up now. Beach Lady. Thank you guys for putting everybody's links up. We appreciate it. Hey, can somebody drop our link in the chat? <laughs> no, just kidding. <laughs> can you guys tell I'm off my rocker? <laughs> Usually when we do our when we do our stuff, it's like late in the evening, and by then I'm already. <sighs> I still have a little, I still have a little pep left in my step right now. So I have a big mouth. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Okay, there goes silver prepping grandma's link. Yeah, well, silver prepping grandma got hers up twice. Can you hand me my drink, my book? I wish you guys were neighbors with us. I really, really do. It would be so much fun. Wouldn't it be fun? We have a big YouTube cookout because Chef wants to get his big pot out. He has like one of those huge round bean pots, like cast iron bean pots. And he wants to make like a big bean and cornbread feast, so to speak, so that – and. and if he does, then we're going to let, like, the local police know and stuff. So that way people can come by and they can get them some free beans and cornbread. Because we're going to we're trying to save all of our containers and stuff. So if people want to come by and get us some cornbread and beans, they can come by and get it. And then fart up a storm the rest of the night, right? <laughs> That's what I say. Yeah, chef's a good cook. He is a good cook. And he's used to cooking in mass quantities because of the restaurant. <laughs> Everybody, if you guys think that Val, Curly, and Charlie should start a channel of their own, give me a hands up in the chat. There's Maple Cook. Hello, MC. Maple, every time I see you type in our chat, it always makes me think of, uh, hello, I'm Mrs. Doubtfire. When you do that long... Hello. Makes me go feel like slamming my face in a thing of whipped cream. Hello. <laughs> I love Mrs. Doubtfire. That movie was hilarious. See? There you go, Val. You already have one hands up from Jules and M. I think that you and Charlie should have a channel. Yes, ma'am, I do. Should Charlie's loving our chat. Oh, yeah. He's singing away and chirping. What's Hello, he Charlie. What's he singing? Val, Chef wants to know if Charlie is singing anything special or if he's just singing. <laughs> there you go, flower beans, beans, the musical fruit. The more you eat, the more you do. That's right. And another one is beans, beans, they're good for your heart. The more you eat, the more you fart. <laughs> That's what I like I said, my dad used to always say it's better to burp and taste it than to fart and waste it. But sometimes it just feels good to let a long one. <laughs> it does. It really does. Some people are going to unsubscribe us thinking she's so rude. I'm not prudish. The more you fart, the better you feel. So let's have beans for every meal. <laughs> um, Charlie is singing when you have... <laughs> When you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. 
When you're happy and you know it, flap your wings. Doot, doot. When you're happy and you know it, then your beak will surely show it. When you're happy and you know it, flap your wings. Doot, doot. <laughs> My dad used to also tell me because I was born the last. Um, I came along eight years later when they thought they were done. So I was one of those mishaps. Whoops. <laughs> But um, my dad used to say that a crow shit me on the fence and the sun hatched me. <laughs> so that's why I was different. But I am legitimately theirs. That is true. Okay. We're both the last child. Yeah, me and Chef were both the last children in the family. So he was also years after when his mom and dad thought they were done. And I was years after when my mom and dad thought they were done. So... And like I said, Chef was born with broad shoulders and those extra long arms so he can wrap his arms around my big old fat body. <laughs> so, uh, it's 11.15 now in the UK. Is all of UK the same time? I'm assuming that they're all the same time. I thought that you guys were six hours ahead, but that would make you five hours ahead. I know a flight from here to the UK is usually like five or six hours. So that makes sense. Charlie is saying, come on, come on. <laughs> Val was also the last one. Oh, really? Yes. Well, see, Val, I knew we all had something in common. And Michelle, beauty has been said that UK is all the same time. So everywhere it would be the same time. Thank you guys for that information because I'm learning. I'm learning a lot for sure. There goes Lydia's link up. Thank you, Sandra, for putting Lydia's link up. But yes, the beach lady, everybody's got their links up almost, I think. But Val, we would love it if you would think, just think about doing a channel because it would be really fun to have you and Charlie do videos. Even if it was just short videos, it would still be so much fun. People would get a kick out of Charlie, too, I'm sure. Yeah, Charlie singing and dancing. If and you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. Hi, Charlie. Having a bad hair. Hi, having a bad hair Charlie. Day. Charlie Bird. Boop, boop. <laughs> we love Charlie. Did Charlie like, does Charlie like his toys, or do you think he'll like the toys we sent to him, Val? Chef even sent him a beak, I think it's a beak sharpener, it was called. <laughs> Beauty has been going on night. We sent Charlie this, the chef bought Charlie this big ladder thing. It's like really tall and it's got a big coconut, like, like where the Charlie could get inside the coconut and like hide or something. I don't know. And a few things like that. Good night, Michelle, my curly girl. You have a good night's sleep, sweet dreams, and we'll see you later. And you guys, another thing too, I am so behind on videos. That's another reason I wanted to do a live. So you guys will know I have not been feeling great, but I feel better. But I am so far behind on lives and I will make sure that I'll get caught up on your guys' videos. I guarantee you I will. So I will be there to watch your videos and leave a comment. So because I like to watch the whole video. I don't like to just click on and click off. I like to make my way through and watch the whole thing because that's how I learn things. So, but if you haven't seen me leave a comment in your videos yet, I will be there. As long as I got notification for it, I will be there to see them and make a comment. I know, no rush, but I feel bad. That's why I leave all of my notifications up. I don't click off of them. So that way I can go back and relate to them. So, yes, he does. That's hanging on his cage. Probably hide from me when I'm yelling at him. <laughs> We saw it the first time, Val, and we weren't sure whether it was something that Charlie would like or not or something maybe you guys already had. But when we went back again, we just had to get it. Hi, Cynthia. Everybody say hello to Cynthia at our Bigs Adventure. If any of you guys are gluten-free, and even if you're not, she has some awesome recipes and stuff on her channel. Not to mention just, I mean, just everything. She has a great channel overall. And you guys, can somebody drop the link for our Bigs Adventure in the chat for me, please. I would greatly appreciate it. Yes, Pootie, everybody knows you're here. Pootie always has to make his presence known. <laughs> always. Thank you very much, Sandra and Birdie, for dropping links in here. We appreciate it. Absolutely appreciate it. 
like I said, I think that we have an amazing community here. We don't have drama here. Thank God, knock on wood. But we have moderators to take care of that if that should happen. Um, but we have you guys, you talk amongst each other so well. It's just great. So, okay, Sandra, if you can find them, I would appreciate it. There you go. Our big adventure. Thank you, Sandra. I don't know if Birdie's still here or not, or she fell asleep. Birdie may have fallen asleep. But anyway, it is, what time is it here? It's a little after six right now, and we're supposed to start getting our bad storms at around seven-ish. So whether they still come or not, um, we live like not far from a big river like the Wabash River. And sometimes when a storm approaches and it hits that river, it either makes it across it or it evaporates. So right now it looks like it's going to come on across. Hello, Cabagay. Welcome to our chat. Good morning to you because I'm assuming where you're at is probably morning. But yes, it is approaching evening here. Can someone in the chat drop Cabagay's link in here for me? Oh, we'll be all right, Jules. I, the only tree that we have that really poses a threat, and we're getting ready to have it taken down anyway, is the one that's by our garage. We have a three-car garage, so it's far enough from the house that if it falls, it's not gonna it's not gonna hurt the house, but still. We weren't, you know, Cindy, we weren't Cynthia, we were not supposed to have storms today. Me and the chef got up and got ready with intentions to go to the Roseanne house today. And then all of a sudden, lo and behold, he has me check the radar because things start clouding up and the leaves on the trees were turning. Because you guys know, if the leaves on the trees turn upside down, that usually means you're going to get some rain. That's one of Mother Nature's signs that storms or rain's coming. Anyway, and sure enough, I checked the radar and there it was. And we can't leave our shelter dog in a crate like that when it's storming because he'll have, we're afraid he'll have a heart attack. He'll turn himself upside down, literally, physically. And gas prices are nuts. It's two ninety nine right here where we're at. Down the road, it's three oh nine. But I checked gas prices in Evansville this morning before we left. It's only two sixty four a gallon down there. Yeah. So chef, he put some gas in here for us to go to Evansville, and we were just going to fill up in Evansville because it was cheaper. But then we ended up not being able to go. Yeah, and I grabbed a five gallon and a one gallon gas can. I had was going to load up down there. Everybody, love you too, Cabagay. Thank you so much. See, that's why Birdie's not talking because she's over there eating McDonald's. What you get? What you eating over there, Birdie? Huh? What did you get from McDonald's? Yes, Cabagay has some good videos and they just did their first mukbang a few days ago. And that was, I like that mukbang. There, look, there's H. Yay! Hey. Sandra, can you please drop the link for hey. Eat with H in the chat, please? If you guys have not checked out H, she is from the UK. And if you guys trust me, she is one of the best mukbangers that I have seen. She has the best channel. I absolutely love her. Please, if you haven't already subscribed and you haven't checked her out, check out Eat with H because she has the best personality. I absolutely adore her. Me and the chef absolutely love her. And when we go to the UK in 2022, we are getting together with H and we're going to have a mukbang with that lady. Yes, we are. A uh, chef said, but it has to be fish and chips. So uh, he says, as long as he has the fish and chips, he has to have the fish and chips. But we are going to the UK in 2022. We already have the money for that. And that's, it's been a dream that we're going to do. And that's what we're going to do. Fat or not, we have to buy first class seats. Whatever we need to do, we're going to go. So we're going to have a mukbang. Huh? H, you got to talk to this guy. He said he wants to take a cruise, but we don't need a cruise. The Grand Big Mac. Oh, uh, see, Birdie, we don't have the Grand here anymore. We used to have the Grand and the Mac Jr., but that was just for a limited time, and we don't have them anymore. It says fish and chips, LOL. <laughs> uh, I want to take a cruise because I want to go to Wales and Ireland, too. Yeah, he wants to go to Wales and Ireland, too, while we're over that way. So, hello, Forever Mimi. Good to see you. That's why I can't find you, Mimi, because you change your name too much. She says, after the UK visit. Then you can do your cruise and see after the UK visit. <clears throat> 
<laughs> he's, he's over here going. <clears throat> <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, it would be a lot more expensive for us to do the cruise. And we can't stay in any one place too long. That's the only problem with doing a cruise. Thank you guys for subscribing to H. And I guarantee you, I guarantee you guys will love her channel. You have to go back and watch some of her videos. She made our um, our South Indian masala mac and cheese once in her video. So, yeah, you guys got to. Oh, I'm sorry, Mimi. That is awful. Uh, can somebody drop the link for Forever Mimi in the chat, too? That way I can go back and access it later myself. She said she's wanted to do a cruise, too. You want to come over and sit in the chat for a while? We gotta put the meat away. Uh oh. Take a break for a minute. Yeah, I know flour, and we we figure a week, you know, five to seven days in the UK, that'd be about it. So sleeping collectibles, we have that. We made that. Um the it's not Marsala, it's masala, it's Indian, it's South Indian mac and cheese. We have a video for that somewhere in our our list of videos, and it's also in our International Foods playlist. Oh, do you, Cabagay? You've got a second mukbang? Then I need to go check that out because I'm behind on watching videos. Helen, hello, Helen. Helen, we did a small haul, but it's over now. I've already showed everything, but you're welcome to go back and watch the replay when it's done because I'm going to have to get off here really soon because, like I said, the storms are going to be coming around 7-ish, and I've got a Button down the hatches before that happens. I need to make sure that the kids are all squared away and stuff. Is Ashley and Amy still on? Her? Yes, Ashley and Amy is still here. Well, tell them I got four seeds, apricot seeds, that I was going to try to grow. And if I get all four of them to, to sprout if they want to, I'll send them okay. to. Ashley and Amy, Chef wants to know if you want him to send you a couple of these apricot seeds. I'm going to try to get them to sprout. He's going to try to get them to sprout first. But if he can, he wants to know if you guys want a couple of these, if you think you could plant them there. If you guys are still here and seeing this, these are apricot seeds. Yeah, makes little apricots. So give me a yes or give me an A. So we'll know what to do. He's got a few of these and he's going to try to um, research it and he's going to try to get them to sprout. And if he can, he said he'd send you guys a couple if you want them. You want to try to plant them. So, is it raining heavy, Helen? It says you let them dry out, and then you crack them open and take the seed out and wrap them in something moist and stick them in the refrigerator for a couple months, and they should sprout and make little green sprouts, and then you take that sprout and you plant it and keep it indoors until... Or you could just send them the seeds, and they can do that well, I themselves. Well, I need to get them out of the husk, though. I don't know if you leave them in the husk too long. They might not form later. Okay. That's why I thought I'd get them to grow And um, The beach lady's going to make some of our potatoes. You'll absolutely love them. I guarantee. Well, if you have taste buds like we do, you'll love those potatoes. They are absolutely my nephew's favorite potato of all time. Yeah, be careful, Helen, in the storms. The only thing that worries me about here is I don't like our power line. Our power line swings a lot and it scares the bejesus out of me. Yeah. Well, all this time. Yes, H, I know. <laughs> We're going to have tomatoes at the yin yang and I've got to do some canning. So I'm going to be canning. I've got to can some salsa, some tomato sauce, some. Do tomatoes, just a little bit of everything. If we produce tomatoes like it looks like we're going to, we're going to be canning a lot of stuff. So uh. they're all beef steaks too, except for the one cherry. I don't know which ones they are. The, the yeah. hybrid beef steaks or the regular beef steaks or the heirloom beef steaks because they all got mixed up when after I planted them. So I got tomatoes running out my yin yang. What am I going to do with them all? <laughs> I'm not a big person that likes to can stuff but i'd rather can it than have it go to waste so we will be doing some canning of salsa and spaghetti sauce and stuff yes cynthia too bad you're not our neighbor <laughs> cynthia's canning is her jam oh yeah yeah <laughs> no pun intended <laughs> well, we got two dozen big jars and then we got that's, two, yin -yang. We got that's a, what i always say we got two dozen big jars and we got a dozen of the little itty bitty pint ones for jams and jellies and stuff i always say 
the yin yang. I need to give me one of those mustaches, one of them bicycle stashes, so I can do <laughs> that little evil. <laughs> Thank you, Beach Lady. We will. I don't mind the storms as long as we're inside. Birdie, I don't know about doing canning videos. See, Jules. Jules said she likes to can. It's fun. Okay, Jules, pop us out some canning videos because I don't want to. I probably will at some point, but it's in the can. <laughs> uh, yes, Ashley and Amy said that they would love some. Okay. He's probably going to be sending you something else too besides those seeds because he was talking about something else the other day. What's over there in the thing? Anyway, he knows oh, what I'm he knows what I'm talking yeah, about. Know. But um, so yeah, we haven't. That'll be a little bit down the road. Yeah, um, we got to get this. It yeah. takes a couple months for them to sprout in the refrigerator. So, um, a live kid, Birdie. I tried to cook that macaroni and cheese and hot dogs on a live, and that was like a fiasco because I couldn't see any comments in here. So to try to can something on a live, that would not be a good thing. Yeah, but Sh Shelly, you know, I just found out from uh, Beauty Has Been, who's not in here now, that all of UK is on the same time, and you guys are five hours ahead of us. So now I actually know what time it is in the UK. But um, like I said, I've got recipes that I need to get done this weekend. Um, at least three of them, if not four. Chef might be posting a video tonight of something that he's doing. I'll make a recorded video tomorrow and get that out tomorrow night. And then, of course, Saturday and Sunday, we'll be putting recipe or cooking videos out, too. So, huh? That's if we have power, guys. Like Chef said, don't make any promises. <laughs> I'm like, because the last time we had a storm, we lost power twice and we were without power for hours. So, anything can happen that changes our plans, but that's what we're officially planning to try to do. We have a pole in our yard that belongs to this house that our power is on. So we own the power line from the house to the pole. So if it gets knocked I down, see that there, H. if it gets knocked down close to the house, I have to find someone to put it back up. The power company won't. So thanks to all of you guys who have went and subbed to each other. I appreciate that because everybody's channel needs some love. So it's a great community in here. Everybody has something to offer in their channels. Hey, Manny. Hello. Good morning to you, Manny. Everybody say hello to Manny. He's in Singapore. I've been to Singapore. Well, I've been to Singapore twice, actually, but it was just for a layover. Singapore is a beautiful, beautiful place. And it is, correct me if I'm wrong, Manny, but it's about uh, 728 in the morning over there. 628 or 728 in the morning in Singapore right now. Because I know where I was at in Malaysia, it was 13 hours ahead. So it would be 7, 730 where I was. So Manny does a lot of shorts. He has a lot of cute videos. He has a lot of informative videos and a lot of funny videos. So if you guys want to check out Manny, please do. Can somebody drop Manny? Oh, Skywatcher Sandra, thank you so much, Manny. Sandra already dropped your link in the just in the chat for us. So Manny gets up early. Manny's up with the chickens, literally up with the chickens. <laughs> so um, yeah. So everybody, we're gonna have to get ready to go. It's 6:30. I need time to Take care of all the kiddos. Make sure everything, my chairs are put up and stuff before the storms come. But thank you to everybody for coming in. We love you all. We appreciate you all. And like I said, I will get caught up on videos. Just give me a couple of days. I'll be watching some at night in between making stuff. And yes, Birdie, we have to go. I'm sorry. <laughs> We've got, we have to cook dinner. We have to get the dogs ready before the storm comes and all that stuff. Chef saying you can stay on a little bit longer if you want to, but no. See all this? I had this meat right here. I got to get that bagged up so we can get it in the freezer and stuff. If we have a chance to come on and do a live late tonight, if I have a board moment, then I might do that. If anybody wants to come back in, we love you guys.
um, just look for the notification if we come back on later. But I know Chef will be doing, if we still have power, Chef will be doing a video later. It shouldn't be a real long video, but it'll be a one that you guys would probably enjoy. So, but we love you all. Thank you, Sandra and Birdie, for dropping links for everybody in the description box. Yeah, thank you. Um, we greatly appreciate that because we want to make sure that everybody gets some love. And we plan on doing shout outs. We love you too, H. More than you know, we do, girl. We absolutely love you. Um, um, makes me want to cry because H, you're my you're my girl, H. You are and great people. I have some great, I consider you guys family. You guys are like family to me and chef on here. Cry, baby. <laughs> Mush spot right here. You cry, baby. <laughs> anyway, guys, um, yeah, after the storms pass, if everything's kosher, um, the chef's going to do his video. And then we might come back on and just do a little bit of a live. We might even play a game later on or something. But for now, we're going to go so we make sure, you know, we love our fur babies and we have to make sure our fur babies are all settled in, that they've had something to eat and they're all, they're all good to go before the storms come. We love you all. We'll see you all later. Just look for the notifications and hopefully we'll be able to do a live later. And thank you guys again for dropping links. Thank you guys for going around subscribing to everybody's channels. I know that they greatly appreciate it and so does me and Chef. So we love you guys, and we will see you guys later on. Just stay tuned, guys. You want to say bye, Chef? Bye, Chef. Chef says bye, Chef. <laughs> Did you hear that, Val? He's the sweetest chef. <laughs> bye, Charlie. Bye, Charlie Birdie. Okay, guys, we'll see you later. We love you all.